What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. Um, just to let you guys know. So I'm here. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Fluid energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so the channel message I received was. A very significant report to the um, Federal Trade Commission is about to spur many series of chain events about to really uncover serious money laundering and um, identity theft. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a very significant report to the Federal Trade Commission. Now, um, I loosely know what the Federal Trade Commission is, but I did Google definition it, as I do a lot of terms on here that I hear clear audiently for you guys. Um, so everybody can be on the same page and know what it means. Um, so I'll read it here in a second, but a very significant report, um, it sounds like it's already happened to the Federal Trade Commission, is about to basically uncover, um, help uncover money laundering and identity theft. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Now, the Google definition of Federal Trade Commission, it's in the United States. So whoever this is, they either reside in the United States or the report they reported was regarding something in the United States. So the Federal Trade Commission is an independent agency of the United States government whose principal mission is the enforcement of civil U.S. antitrust law and the promotion of consumer protection. The Federal Trade Commission shares jurisdiction over federal civil antitrust enforcement with the Department of Justice Antitrust Division. It basically um, helps combat identity theft and fraud and other other things. I um, uh, researched it loosely. Um, identity theft and fraud. Its headquarters is in Washington, um, D.C. in the United States. And jurisdiction is the United States. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever this is for, um, the report has already been made to the Federal Trade Commission. But it sounds like it's going to, um, from the spirit message, it sounds like it's going to spur many series of chain of events. And it's going to help uncover identity theft and start helping uncover money laundering. And yesterday in the Daily Tea, I heard about secret, you know, I heard secret seven and money laundering. If, um, that was in Alabama. So I don't know if Alabama is going to take over yesterday's or if it's going to be federal and it's going to spur into Alabama. Um, I'm not sure, but I did hear Alabama heavy yesterday regarding secret seven and secret seven was, is, was money laundering was one of the heads of the beast. Um, you can welcome to go back and check that video out if you would like. And y'all know, as a reader, I've been clairaudiently pulling in um, the Secret 7 for forever, 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 forever. So I can't wait till that crack is busted. At least one of the heads of the beast gets busted up. Because um, there's many heads of the beast to the um, Secret 7 situation, or there was. Now, energy has shifted a lot with that. Those people have... Um, moved on, moved away, uh, they can't style that poor single mother in their house anymore, so, I mean, it's really shifted a lot, but they still shouldn't have done what they did, and they, their ego was just so high that they just thought they could do whatever they wanted to anybody any old time, but it sounds like it's about to come back and backfire on them, so you plug it in how it resonates, but this is a specific, now, I, it could be you that has filed this report to the Federal Trade Commission or somebody you're connected to, but somebody has filed a very significant report to the Federal Trade Commission. Um, and like I said, you know, I Googled definition and read it to y'all what the Federal Trade Commission does, and they, can, they help combat identity theft and fraud and other serious crimes. So somebody got very smart and they decided to report to the Federal Trade Commission. It sounds like it's about to pay off. So um, you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. I'm going to use Kipper. Um, whoever this is for, you've already reported to the Federal Trade Commission. For some, you could report to the Federal Trade Commission soon. 
Um, everybody's on different time and life paths, so you plug it in how it resonates. So at least one person in the universe has already reported to the Federal Trade Commission um, regarding some kind of money laundering or possible money laundering or some kind of information that's going to lead to money um, uncovering of money laundering and identity theft. So one's already reported, it sounds like, to the Federal Trade Commission. For another one of you guys, you could be reporting to the Federal Trade Commission soon, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for sign of I'm it for the collective. Okay. We got family room upright. Spirit messages you have for the sign of I'm it for the collective. Spirit messages you have for the collective. I hope everybody is doing fantabulous. If you'd like to donate, there's two, um, one way, one way today, because I don't have YouTube on, YouTube live, live on. So there's one way right now, because I don't have the super chat on. Um, bottom, um, I've already copied and pasted the link to PayPal. You're welcome to donate if you'd like to donate. I appreciate each and every donation. I'm a single mother of two kids, so it really, really, really helps um, support me and my own, just saying. Spirit messages to you, however, the collective. Spirit messages you have reflected. Um, it like says through PayPal. It's my per, uh, my personal PayPal account. Um, if you donate to my PayPal account, it is strictly confidential. I do not state your name on here or how much you um how much you donate for privacy and um, confidentiality purposes. We have family room upright, message reverse, occupation upright, lovers upright. Number 21, 7, 34, 15 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be a uh, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be possible um, date of birth number, possible social security number, possible green card number. Um, Possible lottery number or jersey number, um, 21, 7, 34, 15. Also, also, these numbers could be significant or reoccurring numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements, possibly. Family room. This significant report is going to spur other reports and other series of chain events. The Secret 7 situation is about to become very, very, very significant in one particular Federal Trade Commission re report. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, th this report that sounds like already has been filed with the Federal Trade Commission, it's about to become very significant. And one of these reports, it sounds like it's going to spur other reports to the Federal Trade Commission. And it's regarding the Secret 7 situation, which, you know, the Secret 7 situation was fraud of that family. It was fraud of that family, um, that poor single mother and her family. That was fraud all day long, fraud, abuse, and exploitation. So there's already been one significant report to the Federal Trade Commission. It sounds like it's about to spur, spur many other reports to the Federal Trade Commission that's going to create many series of chain events. And it's going to basically, um, it's going, one of these reports is going to be very significant to the Secret 7 situation. So I think one of you guys is about to report to the Federal Trade Commission or somebody you're connected to regarding information on the Secret 7 situation with those buttheads basically taking advantage of that family and um, committing fraud and felony charges and all kinds of crazy crap to that poor family. So family room upright in this situation was the house of the secret, um, the family, the poor family um, of the secret seven, basically. That's what I'm taking. Or it could be you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Is this the family of the secret seven situation? Or you 
feeling like the family of the Secret Seven, maybe you were a viewer through the camera when you were able to view through, and you feel like this family is part of your family and you want to help them out by reporting to the Federal Trade Commission, um, what horrible things was done to the family against their will and unwillingly, possibly. Message reversed. There has been no response back yet with the report that has already been filed. And the reports that are about to be filed, there will be no response for a little while. But do not let it get you down because it is, there will be action. Trust this. Give as much details as you possibly can on the situation that had occurred. They will be working on it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So the report that's already been filed to the Federal Trade Commission regarding the Secret 7 situation, money laundering, identity theft, and the, the poor family that was basically, basically abused, exploited, and stole from. Um, and, um, you know, hidden camera energy, basically. Um, using and abusing them. Um, there has been no response back to that report yet. And the reports that either you're about to file or somebody you're connected to is about to file regarding the Secret 7 situation, abuse, exploitation, and theft to the Federal Trade Commission has, um, I heard they will not, the response will not be quit back to them either. But it's not because they're not going to work on it. It's because they have to basically take time to gather all the information and get their invest, you know, they've got to, it takes time for an investigation. I mean, I'm not an investigator, never been an investigator. But I could only presume it probably takes time for them to do their investigation, you know, so that would make sense. And I heard basically whoever this is for, if you're the one about to file a report to the Federal Trade Commission regarding the Secret 7 situation or money laundering or um, abuse or exploitation of the family or identity theft or what have you, that basically um, it, you're not going to get a response back soon. It's going to take a little while. And somebody's already reported regarding some of this to the Federal Trade Commission, and they haven't received a response back yet either. But it's because they're working on it, and they're going to work on it. So message reverse in this situation is basically do not fret. If you don't get, um, if you're the one of the ones about to report to the Federal Trade Commission, or you're one of the ones that has already reported to the Federal Trade Commission regarding the Secret 7 situation, don't stress out, don't get worried, don't get down, don't think they're not going to do anything about it because they have to um, they have to investigate it. I heard in here specifically from Spirit, basically make sure to give as many details as you can. Names, phone numbers, and addresses would be very, very, very helpful, very. An address of the Secret 7 home. And names of everybody involved that you know involved in this. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, the ones that are about to report, apparently, because there's going to be several of you guys about to report to the Federal Trade Commission. So, if this, if this specific message resonates with you, I heard basically give as much information as you possibly can in this report. Okay? Names of everybody involved that you know that was involved in the Secret 7 situation. So I'm assuming four members of the Secret 7. Addresses these people, phone numbers of them if you know them. Um, uh, uh, information on everything that you know that happened. And specifically, I heard the address of the Secret 7 home. So the address of the single mother and her family's home, if you know it, would be very, very, very useful in this report, basically. So make uh, make sure to put the address of the uh, single mom's um, uh, address in there for Secret 7 home. Names of all the core members of the Secret 7 people that you know of. Whoever, I mean, everybody's di situation's different. So whoever you are, whatever information you know of the core members of the Secret 7, their names, their phone numbers, their addresses, all, you know, those kind, that kind of information in the report, the address of the Secret 7 home, so the address of 
the original whatever Secret 7 situation you're reporting, the address of the home of the Secret 7 situation that the hidden camera was in, basically, or is in now, how that resonates. Um, and all any kind of pertinent factual details that basically you can provide in this report. It'd be very, very useful for the investigation. So you're not going to hear back immediately, but it's not because they're not working on it. It's because they have to get, they have to um, have information to go on to do the investigation and they have to have time to do the investigation, basically. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. One's already reported to the Federal Trade Commission. It sounds like several of you guys are about to report. So you plug it in how it resonates. And this is going to be very, very, very effective. Lots of evidence here. Know this. Okay, I heard that this is going to be very, very, very effective. Lots of evidence here. So apparently you reporting to the Federal Trade Commission, the ones that are about to report to the Federal Trade Commission on whatever Secret 7 situation you're about to report on and whoever you're about to report on, I feel for some you're about to report on the original Secret 7 Alabama situation, possibly, you know, um, and the core members of the Secret 7, the one I've been drawing in for forever. For others, it might be another Secret 7 situation. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's going to be very useful. It's going to be very useful, but make sure to put factual information in there. Core members of the Secret 7, their names, their phone numbers, their contact information, their addresses, the address of the original Secret 7 home that had the, a hidden camera in it or has it in it now, however that resonates. Occupation upright. You are about to help out in a huge, huge, huge way. Know this. Huge way. For some, it's yourself. For some, it is another. Another's. Secret 7 situation. Okay, I heard you're about to help out in a huge, huge, huge way. For some, you're helping out yourself. For some, you're about to help out others. So for some, you know of the Secret 7 situation, either the original Secret 7 Alabama situation, you're about to provide information to the Federal Trade Commission. For some, you might have already have. For some, you're about to help out yourself and you are a victim of the Secret 7 situation or the original Secret 7 Alabama situation. Um, that The original Secret 7 Alabama situation, that one's already shut down. But there's still other Secret 7S type situations going on in the world. So for some, you could be helping yourself. Maybe you have evidence um, of cameras that were in your home or some kind of evidence um, that's going to help yourself and it's about to help you out tremendously. For some, you're about, you know information, either on the original Secret 7 Alabama situation or another Secret 7 situation. You're about to either provide the information or the evidence or whatever. But in this situation, this is occupation basically about, um, I take this as helping um, helping the Secret 7 Alabama situation, original Secret 7 Alabama situation, or helping another Secret 7 situation, or you helping yourself, um, taking action uh, um, to help yourself. I know it's the occupation card, but I'm just saying, I mean, um, it doesn't matter what occupation you are. You are taking it upon yourself as an occupation to help um, crack this open, basically, is what I'm taking from the occupation card upright. And I'm serious. Several inve federal investigators are about to get involved in this very, very, very soon. Some are regretful they didn't in the past, but they are about to. Some knew about it, but they are about to. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, I heard several federal federal investigators are about to get involved in this soon. Some federal investigators knew about it in the past, but they basically didn't help. But they're regretful they didn't help, but they're basically about to help now. So the, in this situation, the occupation also could be the federal investigators. They're regretful they knew about the situation in the past, stepping up and helping now. 
um, and some, uh, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Federal investigator energy. Um, that's exactly what I feel. Um, so I feel this could go a couple ways. You stepping up and um, being, um, you can be a small business owner. You can be any occupation. That's, I'm just saying, I mean, I use small, small business owner as an example because I'm a small business owner. I'm a small business owner and, and I'm a nurse. Um, but I'm just saying it could be any occupation that reports this, whether it's helping yourself or somebody else in some kind of horrible secret seven situation. I take it as that. You just stepping up and helping, whatever, no matter what occupation you are. Um, for some, you'd be unemployed. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And for some, I feel this is um, federal investigator energy, whether it's new federal investigator energy that's just learning of this or the ones that are regretful of the past that knew about it and they're about to step up and help. However, that resonates. Lovers upright. Two particular people through a series of chain of events in this is going to meet on the same intellectual, emotional, and physical level and sexual level. Huge connection will be formed here. Emotional connection. And will possibly grow more down the line. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa, my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Whoa. So I heard um, through these series of chain events. Now, like, like you know, we heard in here during the mid, middle, I mean, beginning to the mid of the reading. Basically, whoever's, some of you guys are about to report to the Federal Trade Commission regarding money laundering identity theft, fraud, secret seven situation, one or all those things. You plug it in how it resonates, but you're not going to get immediate communication. So that's why we're message reverse. But, and that was the beginning to the mid of the reading, right? But you will eventually, but they have to do their investigation. But it sounds like once they gear the investigation up, um, lots of federal investigators are about to get involved in this. Now, I don't know how many reports are about to come in for the Secret 7 situation or not. I don't know how many. I didn't hear how many is about to come into the Federal Trade Commission, but it sounds like a hefty amount. And I think you guys are about to report to the Federal Trade Commission. I, I do. I think you're about to step up and report. One report has already been filed with them, but it sounds like many more is about to be filed. And it's about to basically spur up a huge investigation with the Federal Trade Commission um, and it's, um, it's going to start spurring some action movement. In the past, it didn't, but now it's the wheels about to start turning. Cycles have changed, and I guess they realize now they really need to do something about it because them not doing something about it in the past has created all this crap. Um, I'm not blaming them for it, but they should have taken action in the past to help combat it, and it would have um, minimized some of this crap, to be honest with you, and I'm serious about that. If they had taken action in the past, it would have minimized some of this crap and we wouldn't have the Secret 7 situations popping up now, possibly that we have now, if more action had been taken in the past. And I'm just being serious. But, you know, everybody makes mistakes. But it sounds like now they're about to really get the ball start rolling. Um, but I think it's because of you guys or somebody you're connected to. But I heard basically, at least for one of you guys in the universe, when the investigation, they start showing their faces, start communicating with you, start, um, you know, they start performing their investigation and they start reaching out to you, um, whoever you are. It could be one person in the universe or five million, however that resonates. But it sounds like two people, it sounds like an investigator and one of you guys is going to connect and... It's going, I heard you're going to be on the same page mentally, physically, emotionally, and sexually. So you will be on the same page, like same wavelength and level with this investigator. And it's going to spur an emotional connection between you and them. Not a sexual connection, but an emotional connection. And I heard it will, um, it possibly might form into something more down the line. I'm assuming if you and this person allow it to be on a personal level, basically. Um, so you plug it in how that resonates. Um, completely new person to you. Completely new person. 
Okay, I heard completely new person to you, completely new, completely new person. So that's apparently a specific message for somebody. Because somebody, it sounds like you're about to, you're about to either, you've either filed the report to the Federal Trade Commission regarding money laundering, theft, identity theft, um, fraud, secret seven situation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or you're about to. But at least one of you guys is about to, um, after the investigation is said and done, you know, this might be months down the road. I just want to throw this out here. This is definitely future energy. Everybody's on different time of life paths. It might be two weeks from now. It might be two months from now. It might be six months from now. You plug it in how it resonates. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to do this investigation because, you know, everybody's different. So this is going to occur after all this investigative stuff, though, is what I'm feeling. This is. But whoever this is, I heard of somebody completely new to you. But whoever you are, it sounds like you're in the right emotional space to be able to have new love in your life. Um, whoever this is for, I don't feel you're with anybody um, or you're getting out of something, however that resonates. And you are, you will be in the right emotional space and time frame when this occurs to allow new love in your life, basically, is what I'm feeling for this. Um because I heard they'll be on the same level with you emotionally, mentally, intellect. I mean, emotionally, mentally, intellectually, um, sexually. So they will they will be on the same wavelength as you. You know, you're not going to have to downgrade your expectations or what have you in the dating department or love department or expectations department with this person. Um, sounds like y'all will be on the same level, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. This was a pretty good one. It was pretty good one for Ofro. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. If you think anyone else could benefit from these spiritual messages and the readings, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing my channel on your by word of mouth and sharing my videos, I very much appreciate it. When we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do at least one free reading, probably three. That's a $100 value, just to let everybody know. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.